Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again, great job. So, um, our topic actually would should be um, systems of um, nonlinear equations. But before we go into that, uh, let's review first the systems of linear equations. Okay. So, when we talk about, simply when we talk about systems of linear equations, or these are just multiple linear equations. Okay, and if you would recall, you know, any linear equation, or yung the linear equation itself is just simply the name of the line or yung tiyatawag natin the equation of the line. For example, we have this given line. Okay. So this line will have an equation of x is equal to y. Okay. And this would be the sorry, this would be the equation of this line. Okay. So yan. Now, um, the, uh, enough about the review of the definition. Okay. So for us to better understand um, what are the systems of linear equations? Okay. Let's have an, ex an example. So say what we will be doing today is we will be trying to solve for what are different methods of solving the systems of linear equations. Okay. For example, we have the given um, 4x, 4x plus y is equal to 6. And we have 5x plus 3y is equal to 4. So these are two linear equations. Linear equations in the sense that, uh, firstly, must have, uh, we can say that it's linear if the exponent, uh, the maximum exponent or the highest exponent is 1 of the x, so the x value, or even on the y value. Okay? But, uh, the, x, uh, the, the equation will have an exponent at max of 1. Okay? So, so these are two linear equations, our first equation and then our second equation. Now, it's called the system of linear equations. Because it's supposed to have a solution, a solution for x that will satisfy both given. Okay, that will satisfy both given. So what do I mean by that? For example, say we have our x value, we change the color of that. Our x value being six, and our y value being seven. Okay. So let's reduce it. Let's make it two. Okay. So if it's a given, what do I mean by this? Is um, the value of six and for x and then the value of 2 for y will satisfy both the equation. Remember, how do we satisfy the equation if the equation is balanced in being equals? So what do I mean by that? In our given, we have the equation of 4x plus y is equal to 6 and we have 5x plus 3y is equal to 4. Meaning, if I substitute x here and y here, the answer would be 6. And at the same time, if the x is 5, uh, in this one, the 5x and then the 3y, if I substitute the value of x and y, it will be equal to 4. Okay, so they must be balanced for both cases because it's called a system of linear equation, meaning the solution for these two, even though it's just x equals to a or y is equals to b, it must be balanced. So how do we check whether our guess is correct? So we apply substitution first. Okay, so say we have... Change the 4, 6, and then plus 2 is equal to 6. This is 6, 4. So 4 times 6 is equal to 4, 8, 12, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, um, 20, and 24. Plus 2 is equal to 6, and then we have, um, say, 24 plus 2 is um, 28. And 26 is equal to 26. It's not equal. Okay. Next, let's try it. So I'm going, the next thing that you will do is you will try it on the next equation, which is of course 5x or 5 times 6 plus 3 times 6 is equal to 4. Um, 5 times 6 is 30, um, 30 plus 18 is equal to 4. And this one will give me as 48 is equal to 4. Definitely, they are both wrong. Okay, so what I'm trying to establish is how how do we solve? Try to solve for our given. Okay, and it's a substitute of the values to make the equation balance. Okay, what if let's say we try the value of x being um, say one and y being two. Okay, so let's try to solve for both equations again. Again, what we do here is we are solving for both because since it's a system. Meaning the answer for x and y must be only one. And at the same time, for the solution, for the values of x and y to be um, correct, it must be 
balanced for both the uh, for both the equation. Okay. So this one you will have four times one. Oh, sorry, this one is zero. Four times one plus two equals six. Four times one is four. Plus two is equal to six. And of course, four plus two is six equals six. Tama siya. Okay. But again, if it's correct on the first equation, it does not necessarily mean that this is already the answer. Because why? You also have to check on the other equation. Okay. Five times one. And we have plus three times two equals to four. Five times one is five. And three times six, uh, three times two is six. And then if we add the answer is 11 is equals to four. So Malaysia, it's not correct. Therefore, this one, this is uh, this uh, solution is incorrect. Same goes deeper in this one. This one is incorrect. Why? Because the uh, the value is not balanced. Dito pa lang. Okay? It's not balanced. So it must, it's what it must be six for this case and then four for this case. Okay, yeah. So what we need to do here is we need to find what is the correct value of x and y so that on my first equation it would be correct and on my second equation it would also be correct. So question is what must be the value of x so that our um, 6 would be equal to 6 and our 4 would be equal to 4. So um, here will come uh, the, call this, the different methods of solving Okay, the different methods of solving um, systems of linear equations. Okay. So what are the what are the uh, there are actually uh, um, three okay three means of solving linear equations. Okay, the very first one is of course the very first one is of course um, what do you call this the process of substitution. Okay. Substitution. Now, in the process of substitution, what you need to do is, of course, you need to take the two equations. So what are the two equations? Um, say we, uh, our equation is 4x plus y, I think, is equal to 6. Am I correct? Yes. And then the second, you label it as your equation 1. And then your equation 2, it's um, 5x, I think, plus 3y is equal to 4. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So now, now what we need to do here is um, do the process of substitution. When you talk about process of substitution, you take a look at the given, either one of them, kahit any, kahit to skin of them, okay? and you identify which one do you think is easier to solve for, which value of x and y. So my suggestion is you look for the value of y or x that is already unknown, meaning uh, I think is which one of those given or those x and y's are already alone. And I'm, te I'm telling you alone in the sense that it has no numerical coefficient. Meaning, for example, 2x plus 5 equals to do y. This y is alone, meaning it has no numerical coefficient. x plus 6 um, y equals to um, z squared. This x is alone. It has nothing beside it. Okay. But at all, uh, you will never encounter this one. Anyway, so yeah. So which one of these um, four letters, x, 4x, y, 5x, 3y, will you use? And for me, I would suggest this one. Kasi wala na siyang kasabi. Why is it that uh, every time that you would be solving the process of substitution, you look for that? Kasi uh, because there will be no division um, involved. Okay? And you will see later why there is division involved. Okay? So what you do here in the process of substitution is, of course, you take from equation one. You take that. You take the equation one. This, of course, four x plus y is equal to six. And then you solve for that variable. You solve for y. And solving for y, I I, I keep on telling my students this. If you're solving for the unknown, you leave it alone. So you have y here. You leave it alone, meaning you transpose everything to the other side. y is equal to 16 minus 4x. 
then you ask yourself, is Y already alone? Then, if it is alone, then you're good with that. So you will take this equation and please mark it. Mark your equation. We have this one from equation 1. Then the next thing you do is to um, say, let's assume that this is your, even though it's derived from equation 1. Okay? Let's say this is your equation 1.1. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to take the equation that you have and touch. So this one is already touched. So this one is your untouched equation. So let's go with that. So mean you will go from equation 2 and your newly found equation, which is 1.1. So what would happen here? I, so that you won't be confused. Um, you write down your equations first. So from equation, the equation 2 is, of course, um, 5x plus by equals to 4. And then your equation 1.1 1. 1 is um, y is equals to 16 minus 4x. So what you will be doing here is you will be plugging in or you will substitute the values of 1.1, 1 .1, equation 1.1, 1 .1, on our given so what do I mean by that? Remember that this y value is 16 minus 4x. Meaning, all the values of y here will be changed with 16 minus 4x. What do I mean by that? Firstly, take this one. Then, the x will not be replaced. Why? Because this is y. So only the values of y will be replaced. So this is 16 minus 4x. Is equals to 4. Okay? Then after that, solve for x. Okay? In solving for x, you must evaluate completely first. So again, you will notice in this equation, all the values of y became this one. And the values of y here is 16 minus 4x. So meaning this is the only thing that will be replaced, that y here. So this is not replaced, this is not replaced, and this is not replaced. Only I hope you got that. Then finally, what you need to do is you need to distribute and evaluate all the multiplications first. Do you see any multiplication? It's this one. 3 times this given. Okay. That's going to be 5x plus 3 times 16. The answer is um, 48, I guess. Let me try that. Um, that's 18. Yeah, it's 48. Okay. And then 3 times negative 4x, the answer is 4, 8, 12. Negative 12x is equal to 4. And then finally, you have to solve for x. Again, when you're solving for x, you leave it alone. So meaning you transpose everything to the other side, except for the values of x. I will transpose this one. 48, sorry, 4. Minus 48, because that's a positive 48. You have 5x minus 12x. Then evaluate this one. How do we evaluate that? We go with similar terms. You have 5x and have 12x. 5 minus 12, the answer is negative 7x. And 4 minus 48, the answer is negative 44. And then after that, what you need to do is you just need to just need to evaluate this given, okay? For a while. And then doing this, you will have negative seven. So for x, I mean, divide both sides by the term that is beside x, okay? And this would be if I let me double check my yes, forty eight and Let's so double check our answer. So this is 16x. Am I correct here? Oh, it's not 16x. It's supposed to be 6x. It's a good thing we checked. It's just supposed to be 6x. I was so wondering. It's a little bit big. Anyways, it will be just 6x. And this could be changed to um, 3 times 6 is 18. I was wondering why. Because it's... It's not divisible by 7, okay? So this would be 18. Okay, good. 
And then 4 minus 8, 18, this is negative 14. There you go. So this is negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 7. The answer would be positive. So the value of your x is positive. Okay? After having that, you already have the value of x. You substitute this one, this x, okay, to any equation. Which is, you only have two equations, by the way. This one and then this one. So let's plug in. You have already arrived with the x. The answer is 2. Okay. Let's plug in the value of x on any of this given. So maybe let's try naman um, equation number 2. Okay. In equation number 2, your x will be 2 and your y will be the same. Okay. So what would happen here? 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3y is equal to 4. Nipa, let's transpose 10 to the other side. So this would be 4 minus 10. And 4 minus 10 is simply 6, 3y. And divide 3, the answer would be cancel, cancel, 3. I uh, sorry, it's 2. Okay. So x must be 2 and y must be 2. Okay. So let's try to return. Do we have any? Oh, okay, this is negative 2, by the way. Okay. X must be, um, again, uh, negative 2, uh, 2, and then y must be negative 2. Well, let's try to check. And using our equation, which is um, 4x plus y is equal to 6, and then we have 5x plus 3y is equal to 4. And of course, our given having the values of x as 2 and y as negative 2. So what would happen here? Substitute the x. 4 times 2 plus negative 2 is equal to 6. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 2 is equal to 6, and of course 6 is equal to 6. The next one, let's try it here. So 5 times 2 plus 3 times negative 2. It must be, sorry, let me move this here. 5 times 2 plus 3 times negative 2, the answer must be equal to 4. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 equals to 4. 10 minus 6 is 4, and then therefore 4 is equals to 4. If this is correct, and the other equation is balanced and correct, therefore, we can assume that we might have to pop it. Therefore, this is how I write therefore by the Therefore, okay, x is equals to 2, and y is equals to negative. This is our solution for our system of linear equation. And how did we do that using the process of substitution? Okay, it's a little bit tricky on some. And then I actually um, had a, um, some extra steps, but it's basically like this. Okay? Let me let's answer another another given. Let me go to another page. Something that's not visible. Okay. 4 example, we have equation 1, we have this given, x minus 3y is equal to 5, and we have 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 1. How do we solve this again? First things first, pick 1, this equation 1, equation 2. Which one do you want to solve for? The x, the 3y, the 2x, or the 5y? I would go with x, y. Because x is already alone, it has no sign, it has no numerical coefficient. So I will go from equation 1. And this is x minus 3y is equal to 5. And therefore x is equal to 5 plus 3y. Already good. Okay. Next one. Let's go to equation 2. And this is... Uh, we will name this as um, 1.1 and 1.1. Okay. Substitution. We take um, 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 1. And we have our x plus 5 plus 3y. Meaning, all values of x here will be replaced with this one. Okay. Um, 
going to our equation is 2 times 5 plus 3y. 8 plus 5y is equal to negative 1. So what happened here? 2 is not touched. So it's still here. Okay. 5y here. Negative 1. Negative 1 still here. I am um, as uh, what I tell always my students. Okay. Um, kung hindi mo gagalawin, huwag mong haalisin. Okay? If you will not touch the given, do not remove it. I, I did not touch this one. I will not remove two. I did not. I, the only thing I touch is x. So I will remove x and replace it with this one. Okay? So solve for y. But first, eliminate all multiplications. So this is 5 times 2 and 3y times 2. So this is all. This would be... Um, let me just write it down. This is 10 plus 6y plus 5y is equal to negative 1. Then solving for y, this is um, 10, sorry, 11y is equal to negative 1 minus 10. y transpose 10, opposite sign, negative. Okay, then we have negative 1 still here. And then 6 plus 5y is negative 11 uh, 11y. Solving for y, 11y is equal to negative 11. Okay, negative 11. Go back to your on your on your integers if you don't know how to subtract that. Okay, and then we divide both sides by 11, having y is equal to negative 1. So we have our y now, which is negative 1. Now let's solve for x. Okay, in solving for the unknown. Sorry, let me just write it properly. Y is equal to negative 1. Our x is still unknown. And again, if you already have one of your x or y value, you just take any given equation. Maybe let's take now equation 1. I say a while ago we, take, we took equation 2, but now let's take equation 1. So that's x minus 3y is equal to 5. So x minus 3y is equal to 5. What is our value for y? This one. Okay. So we will have x minus 3 times negative 1 is equal to 5. And x plus 3 is equal to 5. And x being 5 minus 3, x is equal to 2. We have our y, which is this one. And we have our x, which is this one. Negative 1 and 2. Now let's check. Go back to our given. It's, um, it's x minus 3y is equal to 5. And then we have... For a while, let's go down. 2x plus 5y is equal to f1. And we have 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 1. We don't want that. The plus. Is it good? So going here, our value for y is equal to negative 1. And our value for x is 2. First given, it's going to have. 2 minus 3 times negative 1 is equal to 5. Okay, 2, both negative plus 3 is equal to 5, and 5 is equal to 5. Satisfied balance equation. Okay, next, 2 times, sorry, this should have a 1. For a while, let me just do the first one. Then 2 times 2 for a while. I think we did something wrong here. Let's just correct it later. So that's. For a while, let's go back. Let's go back. I saw some mistake here. x minus 3y is equal to 5. So x minus 3y, okay, good. 5y. 5 plus 3y is 10 plus 6y. Plus 5y is 11y. Y is negative 1. Ah, it's negative 1. Okay, and then negative 1 is positive 3. This. Okay, let's do it. Anyways, let's try to check again. So this is mine. Uh, this is would be plus 3. This is 5. And this would be 4 
plus A is equal to 5. There's something wrong, but we will check later. So this is M5. How about this one? Um, this is X, I'm sorry. 2 times 2 plus 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. 4 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 1. And this would be negative 1 is equal to negative 1. This one is correct, but this one is not. So let's try to see and, uh, where, what part did we go wrong. Okay? So let's go back to our equation. Let's check if we got something wrong. Okay. Um, on our equation one, this is our view, as you saw highlighted. Okay. On our equation one, we have this. Um, supposed to be x plus three y. Let's call it from our equation two and equation one point one. This is correctly written. This is also correctly written. Yes. We substituted x here, okay, good. That's supposed to be 10, correct. And it's supposed to be 6y, correct, plus 5y, correct, is equal to negative 1, correct. And this would be, yes, it's 11y. And we have 10, that's, okay, that's negative 10, negative 11, that's correct. Okay. And then divide both sides by 11, it's negative 1, correct. And then going back here, it's negative 1, it's y, correct, plus positive 3, okay, correct. And then x plus 3 is equal to 5, and okay, that's 5 minus 3 is 3. Oh, that's correct. Maybe I wrote the equation different. So I have x. Oh no, sorry, it's not supposed to have 2 here. Oh my god, I did that incorrectly. Okay, it's supposed to be 2 talaga. Okay, good. And 2 plus 3, it's 5, it's 5. Okay. I did not notice that. I'm very sorry. It's, it's correct all the time. It was correct all the time. Anyway, so yeah. So having our equations um, being balanced for both the given of for both the given linear equation, okay? Meaning our system is correct. Okay, therefore, yes, the solution for our system is correct. So this one. This is again um we have two. Okay. It's correct and then therefore correct. So basically class is like this, okay? When you have a system of linear equations, or if you have systems of equations, the values for your x and y, even though they have many equations, may it be three or more than that, it must be the same. Okay. What, what must happen there is it must be balanced for every given equation. Meaning, if you have this one, for, for example, so you have 3x plus 5y is equal to 10, 2x plus 1 is equal to um, 3, and negative 5x plus, sorry, y plus um, 2y is equal to negative 7. Okay? If you have this system, Meaning all the values for x may be a, and all the values for y may be b. It must satisfy the equals to 10, the equals to 3, and the equals to negative 7. And that is the very first way for us to solve for the systems of linear equation. That is one method of it. And it's called the substitution method. Okay? substitution method okay and um in the next video we will have another tutorial talk on the different kinds of methods of solving for linear equations okay so thank you for listening and